I know you um, you mentioned the accident, yeah. and that was one of the questions that I had for you. So, if you would give us some um, some insight as as to what happened, what specifically happened um, to you, mm-hmm. that accident, that that like you said that that terrible accident, would you mind sharing with us what happened? Sure. Uh, I was about 24 years old when that happened, and I worked in a warehouse, and I worked with a punch press machine that comes down with a lot of pressure, and uh, I used to cut gaskets. I used to put, uh, the form of the gasket was blades, and those blades formed the, the gasket, so you put the blades, and then you put the material, and then you press two buttons, and that thing would come down and, and cut the gasket. So I was doing that, and the machine wasn't working very well at all. And I kept telling the the boss, and this thing's not working right. Anyway, on one occasion, I was put the blades on, and all of a sudden it came down by itself. Mm. And I I didn't have a chance to, to get my hands out, so they came down on my hands, and it stayed down like that. It's supposed to do this, Press, and yeah. it didn't. It was down like that, and everybody, I was yelling, I was crying, and they turned off the electricity all over, and uh, and that kept the thing down because the electricity's out. And uh, so the, they turned off the power. Yes, they turned <clears throat> off. The so they power. weren't able to lift the machine back up. They couldn't, because they were all nervous and, and they afraid, panicked. They panicked a lot. They were trying to help me, but eventually uh, the boss got a, a crowbar, and what he did. He started turning the, the thing with the crowbar, and he turned it the wrong way, and it came down oh more on goodness. my hands. So I kind of yelled, and they noticed that it was not. So they started turning the other way, and eventually, I took my hands out, mm-hmm. and they they didn't look like hands. They were completely cut, and blood all over me. I put them in my chest. There was blood all over me. And uh, the, the ambulance is on the way. They said the EMS is on the way. And, uh, and eventually the ambulance came and uh, they put me in there and I told the ambulance guy, give me a shot, put me to sleep. He said, I can't do that. He says, I'm gonna stop your bleeding. They're already waiting for you at the hospital. So, you know, I was, uh, I didn't know how to pray. I wasn't in church at all, you know. I didn't know how to pray or anything, but I was praying. And, cause it was, so at that point you had it, you, you hadn't converted? No, no, I wasn't in church. I was in my, in my 20s, and, uh, wow. but my family was. So I'm in the ambulance and uh, they, uh, they put bandages on my hand and I heard them say, we have a, a man here with his hands crushed and uh, his blood pressure is very high and things like that. And, and I was, I'm hearing all that, and I'm getting worse, you know. And eventually, they they arrived at the hospital, and they were waiting for me. And they uh, they they looked, they put me to sleep from my my neck down. I couldn't feel anything, wow. but I was awake, you know. And and, he, and the doctor said, "We're going to put you in surgery right now." He says, "You're very badly, your hands are very crushed." So anyway, uh, they put me in surgery for about, I guess, uh, five, six hours. And, uh, and eventually and they put me in the recovery room and then in my room, and I had bandages all the way up to here. And uh, the doctor came and he says, well, before he took me in, he says, uh, you're probably gonna lose both hands. Mm. So imagine me hearing that at 24 years old, you know, I cried and I said, oh my God. He took me in and he, uh, he you know, he uh, worked on me and eventually I came out and I woke up and I had my hands up like that. And, uh, and the doctor said, uh, are you in pain? I said, a lot of pain. He said, well, I did, had surgery on you. I just operated on you. And I said, uh, oh, and then he says, I'm gonna put you to sleep right away. I'm gonna give you a shot and you're gonna knock out. I said, good. And then before he left, I said, doctor, do I have hands? Because I couldn't see them. And he says, 
you're a miracle, son. Wow. And he tapped me on the foot and he went out. And right there, not baptized, not, not in the Lord, I gave myself to God right there in, in the bed. Wow, and praise I God. Said, you know, I think about that and that was a long time ago. But you know, God worked that way. God had a plan for me yes. and I didn't know it. He had a plan that I was going to be a pastor someday. And uh, I, I went through all that and then uh, I started going to church. And I was so converted because God had done that for me. And that's kind of my testimony right there. Amen. Wow. Well, thank you for sharing that. Um, God had a plan. He, he <clears throat> the doctor says that you were a miracle. Yes. God knew that you were going to be a pastor one day, that you were going to lay hands on people. Oh, lay hands on That you were going to hold a microphone. A Bible. and Hold a Bible. Yes. Wow. What a beautiful testimony. Oh, it was it was a long time ago, but not forgotten, you know, it's come to my mind. I, this testimony, Brother Abel, I said it for years, years, thousands of times. And, and uh, you know, I, I even was, went to a revival with Reverend Shambach back then. And uh, I told him, you know, he was praying for people coming up and coming mm -hmm. up. And then I came up and I told him that God had done a work, a miracle in my hands. He said, let me see your hands. And I showed him my hands, you know. Wow. And he looked at him. He said, bring the camera over here. Bring the camera. And he shot the camera on my wow. hands. And he says, uh, and then they put me in a, in a magazine, you know, oh, okay. that God had done that for me. So they don't look like they used to, but I have hands, you Amen. know. So thank God for that. Amen.